has given his Christmas blessing just hours after being knocked off his feet in a security scare at the Vatican. The pontiff made his usual address before the throng in St Peter's Square looking tired but well after last night's incident. Meanwhile, the picture of the Pope's attacker has just been released. 25-year-old Susanna Maiolo is a dual nationality Italian-Swiss who's believed to suffer from psychiatric problems. Sky's senior correspondent David Bowden has the story. A minor stumble, but no outward sign of distress from Pope Benedict, as once again he addressed the crowds at Christmas in the Vatican, a matter of hours after being attacked. May your hearts be filled with hope and joy, for the Saviour has been born for us. It was as he prepared for midnight mass on Christmas Eve that this happened. Before the papal security team had time to act, 25-year-old Susanna Maiolo had grabbed Pope Benedict and dragged him to the ground. The lunge lasted just a matter of seconds until Miss Maiolo was hauled off the pontiff and taken away. Susanna Maiolo, who's a Swiss-Italian, is described by the Vatican as psychologically unstable and is now said to be receiving necessary treatment. Pope Benedict, who's 82 and had brought the Christmas Eve Mass forward because of his frailty, was unhurt and continued to the applause of the huge congregation. There was one casualty. An elderly cardinal caught up in the scuffle, broke a leg and had to be wheeled away for treatment. The whole event shocked the Catholic Church worldwide. At Westminster Cathedral, worshippers were stunned. I'm saddened to think on a night like this, somebody is, yes. is, is attacked, you know, uh, a most lovely man. It's very sad on this evening that uh, someone, you know, used violence, but um, I'm, I'm really upset by that. Let's pray for, uh, you know, him and the poor lady who uh, was minded to do such a thing. You know, it's hard to understand why she would want to do something like that. This is not the first time Pope Benedict has been attacked. The same woman wearing what appears to be the same jacket attempted to do the same thing last year, but was grabbed by security before she got to the Pope. In 2007, a man tried to jump on the back of the Pope's vehicle, but didn't get to the Catholic leader himself. Keeping the Pope safe has been a major concern since Pope John Paul II was shot and wounded in St. Peter's Square in 1981. This latest attack will once again lead to a review of papal security, which will be keenly watched by the British authorities. Pope Benedict is due here next year. David Bowden, Sky News.